Um, hello, and welcome back to um, another video about the burial shrouds from uh, Jebada. I realized too late that the um, the previous video that I did on the Akasir Ibrim burial shroud uh, had no sound. I um, I forgot to switch it on, um, and in fact, I probably recorded that already in a slightly feverish state because I became kind of sick after I recorded that video and spent the last 10 days in bed. So um, I'm kind of recovered now. Um, let's hope it's not some type of um, ancient curse uh, that I attracted because of uh, dealing with these uh, burial shrouds. After all, precisely uh, their aim is to uh, protect the dead. And um, we are... Um, you know, slightly desecrating the entire uh, the entire thing by uh, unfolding it, taking out the dead body, uh, performing some tests on it, and then uh, and then reading what's on the on the shroud, which of course is not for humans to be read at all, but um, only for those uh, demons and angels uh, of the afterlife. So um, I think this is a good lesson: don't read too many burial shrouds; you get sick. So. Now uh, today, however, I am going to do something that's probably not very well advised, which is to read the burial shroud of Komar. Um, I think I showed a picture maybe in one of the previous videos. This is the like third full shroud that we have from Jebada. Um, it's mentioned in excavation records. Um, also, Giovanni Ruffini refers to it in his edition of the Kassir Bream burial shroud, uh, and he makes use of it in some of his reconstructions. Um, this burial shroud, from the looks of it, it contains the same type of text as the Kasir Brim shroud and the shroud of Gapoyapa that we did uh, some weeks ago. Um, this then also means that the shroud of Ululudi is really a different type. So we're dealing at least with two different types of shrouds. Um, um, one, the Ululudi type, which contains the standard formula, but before it is a completely different type of text. And the Kasir Ibrim shroud and the two shrouds from Jebel Adav of uh, Komar that we're going to do today and Gapoyapa, which I think contain more or less the same text. Um, at least the one of Gapoyapa and Kasir Ibrim are really remarkably similar. Uh, unfortunately, Kasir Ibrim is heavily damaged and, and uh, Gapoyapa has a bad image and the shroud is lost. Uh, for Komar, the situation is even worse because the image is bad. Uh, I, I have asked... Uh, the Royal Ontario Museum if there's a better photograph maybe because I currently have a scan of a photograph that was in the archives of Gerald Brown at the Sackler Library um, but the, the Ontario Museum is closed because of COVID so I don't know when I will have access to a better photograph if it even exists like even a better scan of the photograph would already uh, probably help us a lot um, but the shroud itself is not at the Royal Ontario Museum, which means that it's somewhere in Egypt, which means that it's probably somewhere lost. So it's really fun to see, like, every every week it's like they find 50, 50 new mummies. Um, but then to know the state of their archives, it's like, yeah, you find 50 mummies, but, like, in, 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 in within one year, no one will even know where these things are anymore. There will be no documentation. And maybe actually for the pharaonic period, they keep good documentation, but everything that comes after... Um, I don't know. I have I have never seen the archives there, uh, but not many good things I think can come of it, which is unfortunate because um, this material is really valuable and gives us an amazing insight into um, into the burial traditions uh, and the type of Christianity that was prevalent in the Middle Nile Valley. Um, in this case, probably around the you know whatever 12th till 15th century. Whenever these um, these shards are dated, probably fifteenth century, fourteenth, fifteenth century. Um, so I don't know. Uh, in other exciting news, um, you may have seen this already on Twitter, but um, I'll put the link uh, in the description. Um, the uh, PCMA mission in Old Dongola, led by Arto Buski, has found what appears to be the central cathedral of Dongola, and they have nine meters of wall. Now, for comparison, like the church that was found when I was there a couple of years ago had like two meters of wall. And so you could, you know, you, something like that, right? So 
nine meters of wall means that you basically go all the way up from bottom to ceiling, which means that you will have full wall pictures, wall paintings, um, you know, the full architectural structure probably, you know, largely there. Um, and so they only did a test trench in the apse, um, which was nine meters deep. Uh, they went 90 meters down. So this is an absolutely incredible find um, that, that will provide research material for the next generation. I mean, this is, this is, uh, I, I don't know even how long it will take to excavate the entire thing than to secure it. Um, Artie was saying online that on Twitter that, you know, even to secure the entire structure, probably as it still exists now will require a million euros. So if you know somebody who can spare a million euros to preserve the largest religious structure in the middle Nile Valley, then, um, you know, let us know. Uh, and I'm, of course, incredibly excited about what potential textual finds are coming going to come out of this. So uh, no doubt there will be psalm texts on the wall, um, you know, as, as in other, uh, uh, as in the monastery in Dongola, I think, and, um, and the parchments that were found in the, in the throne hall. So uh, maybe even... You know some actual texts. You know some some uh, some lectionaries or some other um, literary material would be fantastic. There is apparently also a tomb, uh, the bishop's tomb, and you know what we know from the bishop's tomb uh, that's next to the monastery uh, that was found there, and um, which was uh, which was published I think two years ago or something in in this book, fantastic book by Adam Weiter and uh, Jacques van der Vliet. I mean. That was absolutely amazing in terms of its textual finds. Um, an entire, just trying to find a picture. You know, entire walls inscribed with prayer text, magical texts, like extraordinary. So who knows what we will find. But today we're going to look at a disaster and we're going to, you know, we're gonna see how much we can read, knowing more or less at least the standard, the standard, uh, the standard burial text, uh, burial shroud text that we that we have slowly uncovered over the last few episodes. So let's just have a look and see how far we can go. Um, I think it will be largely very frustrating, but that's also part of the work. So let's uh, let's start. Check wheel quickly. Yeah, okay, this is recording and there's sound. Okay, good. Now I get paranoid. Um, all right. Um, well, you can see the burial shroud here um, on the left. I again inverted the picture because I kind of prefer to to read to read the the white. Although we also have the original one here. Um, in case you want to shift the back and forth, I amped up the contrast a little bit and. Um, I provided some um, some uh, line numbers here, and as you can see, we have like 38 lines. Um, the thing is very broad. Uh, again, it's this type of cross shape. Uh, in this case, I mean, not really a cross. This is more like an eye shape. Um, but if you you know, if you turn this around like this, if you fold it around, if you fold it into a cylinder, then uh, or into a yeah, into a cylinder, then you'll have a cross type of cross shape. Um, we looked at this already the last time, and as you can see that, you know, we have um, at least at the end this type of magical parts with, you know, the repeating, um, with the repeating vowels like E and E here. Um, so that is similar to the uh, Gapoyapa shroud. And we already saw the last time when we quickly look at it that um, there is the word Partenosu here, which again um, relates back to the, um, to the standard prayer. So let's start at the beginning and then see how, um, how far we get. Um, what we can immediately see is that it does not start um, with Old Nubian, but it starts with Greek. Um, 
and I can see that because I see here two uh, patrols P rho sigma, uh, which means that this is Mati, and that means that here actually we or we start a little bit early. Actually, this is this extends here. Okay, so I put these numbers actually too early. Yeah, the number should be here. Okay, I'm not going to fix that again in Photoshop. In any case, we cannot read much. Um, but what is very clear is that we have a new here, which means that we can see traces of an epsilon. Um, so we're just going to write new is clear here and then we the first thing that's really clear i don't know why i put this one here is the mu so we have yeah let's just all dot all of this i mean it's hardly visible in any case and then we have mati which is clear anonymity two epsilon not very clear but it's right here and then we have patros p r s Um, and then not entirely clear what we have, some type of Kai, but what type of Kai, I don't know, I think this is the Kai with little hook. Um, I'm just going to write it for a moment like this, Kai 2, and then we have definitely, yeah, it's a Kai with a hook, yeah. I never know where to find this thing on the keyboard. Um, that means then that this should be at least who you. Not clear how they wrote it this time. I think I see this. I don't know, maybe. Usually they write it like this, but I really don't see a second epsilon. But um, it should be there. Who you? Kai to. Yeah, and we see Hagiyu here. We see the long Yota. So. I mean, the Tau is barely visible. Kai. I'm just going to dot all of this. This is relatively fine. But again, you know, if you wouldn't know what it says, how do you do pneumatos P and P nu sigma? And that's really as far as I can go. Now we already know that on line two, We have it's all barely visible par to no Marian at least Marian. Use 
is barely visible. Marian. And then it should continue. Tot la gula, upper tot la gula. Cannot really see that here. And interclopestil. Completely unreadable. This is definitely Tom, so Maria. No letter T. And though, and the top, 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 top. Ah, this is of course Gile. This is Go Go Tom. Yeah, exactly. So If this is Tom, then this is probably and then the delta, this is the delta. And then we have Gile. Epsilon here, this is in. In. We can, if this gila, if this is in, then we have tau claw, which should end here. We can see the law. Not even the This is actually an alpha here. If this is delta, this is not an omicron. This looks like it has a diagonal. I'm just gonna, which means that Komar is a woman again. Taklo. Okay. Now, the question is then, where are we in line three? Read ta. Taka, I think. Maybe it's this part here. Taka. Yeah, exactly. So this part here, and then we have agenda. I 
Let's keep track of what we actually have. We have this part. And then we should have this here. Is this really again done or what else could it be? Passado again. This doesn't look. This is a delta in any case. But the handwriting was also so shitty. This looks like an alpha. line so if we did this then uh, we should more or less end up here even worse the next line So it should be maybe this. Conjul Gula well. Yeah. Yeah. So we have this part here. More or less. La. Alpha here, and this should be done well. Taka well at all. If you know that it should say it. Oh well. Tau alpha kappa kappa alpha. Okay, I'm just gonna. So incredibly vague. Okay, we got this part here. Clearly have a ra. We know what should be in the middle here. Then maybe here's place for we have Chima Conj. So maybe here, conky.
then five we have Tongapa here Tongapa Ngapa M and then Shima Shima also good Mishan Mishan Shishima Alpha Nu Nu Alpha Gu S. Oh, yeah, this is all there. This should be all between brackets, but then the Gu is here. Gamma, Omicron, Epsilon, Gu Sin. Obviously, all to be dotted. Shana Gu Sin ends here. A la perhaps, yeah. Or L. And then we have A. We have the E here. So we have L. And then A. Gma also here. Uh, not so clear. Oh, uh, G. Ah, this is a sigma nu. Yeah, clearly sigma nu. Well, clearly sin. Which that must be here, gamma. This is long, quite clearly. Sin. Well, then Gu must be here, and then Long is there. Incredible. So we have this. Tad Gila. Yeah, it's clearly there. At least Gila. I mean, this is. Maybe, yeah, yeah, tau alpha delta. Dot kilo and then ela or something. Oh, hmm. Dot kilo. Oh. Kilo. And then we have something new, namely an epsilon. Well, this could be Toktaka. Let's see. Pop, pop, pop. Tau alpha. Okay. Then we come here. It's all kind of fits so far. So we end in sin, which means that before that should be in a sin. Then we have toac, 
stołek. Co to jest double kopa? Here we have Joa, Tolek, Tolek, Kolo. The hell. What's going on here? But I'm a Okay, I read Lo Joa. Lo Joa. And this must be Sin Towek. But then whatever is happening in between. Seems like there's a double kappa. Then some letter. Okay. Mm -hmm. and then we have Nisa map. Yeah, we have the new here. Nisa map. Yes, some uh, yeah, so we do have that. Not very visible, but we have the mu traces of sigmas. Which one, however, this is first or the second? This is the engma sigma sigma alpha. So the first, it's all dotted. Yes, uh, except the mu, which is fine. Yes, I'm uh, Sigma, sigma is fine. Alpha is fine, mu is fine, and eta is just not there. Uh, where was I? Nisa me, nisa me. Then, yeah, me, and then here is the third nisa me. So here, and, uh, yeah, partially, you see the horizontal stroke. You see the sigma with the superlinear. This sigma is fine. Alpha mu. Just simply not there in eta, and we know it. Yes, a man, yes, a man, yes, a man. And here, then indeed, we have this gel, Jima Epsilon gel, and then Genya Me again, Gamma Epsilon. And yeah, actually, this one is good. Genya, Genya, me, then a letter, and then it's whole time. But we have K here. Letter and the le. I'm 
bag somewhere. Oh. Yes, we did. And then this, no doubt, should be. further here. This mana on line five. Ah, there we go. This ends in ta. Yeah, perhaps. Taka Delta. The mana. Ah, in. There we go. And this must be sled. Now we're at the end of the line, which then mean that the beginning of the line should contain still two plus the NIS. Yeah, here's the two. Bah! It fits! It fits. This is remarkable. Um, tau can be read. The rest is ridiculously vague. This is really nice actually because it means that this text is really stable like it's really it can be read continuously from one line to the other even though as you can see i mean it's a disaster this is this shouldn't be readable at all but it's only because i have this text here here now in this we've covered that's remarkable But also we're now and like this is really the end. So after this we're on our own and it's gonna be a disaster. So because this is line six. Kuka. Mm. And then from here on it's already like unclear what because right we don't know. So, I mean, there are some one, two, three, four, five, maybe four to five letters. An alpha, another, maybe another alpha, three, three, four, maybe another two or three letters. Now here it becomes, oh God. Oh. Let's skip a few lines. I don't think I can do this for the moment. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's going because where do we have this tongues? We have, do we have sequences that we recognize? Here it looks like it's already a bit better. Oh god. Oh. <sighs> 
Because, for example, we have these name sequences, like, you know, your name is this, your name is that, your name is the beginning, your name is of the light, your name is of the beginning, your name is of the end, your name is of the spirit, your name is of the sun and the moon and the stars, your name is of the light, your name is of wisdom, or knowledge, your name is of, wis of love, your name is of wisdom, your name is of life, your name is of the entire world. So it would be nice if we can find a similar sequence here, so... I'm pretty sure it's, it must be somewhere here. Is this... Such a pity. Such a pity that we cannot see the real thing. Then it would be so much easier to read. This is such a dreadful, 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 dreadful situation. I don't know. I don't know how much I can do more of this without seriously injuring my brain. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 30, 31, Let's just start at the end. I mean, Ana Pau Zone. Ana Pau Zone. Rest. Clearly wants to rest. That's also the end. And this is the name. Is it really Komar? Anna Pauzon. Or is it Somar? Okay, that's not a cool. Komar. Again, Anapau. Yeah, Anapau Zon. Anapau. Yeah, again, Anapau Zon. Oh, what's this? Komar. Again, on a pause. Oh my god, they're just filling it up. Anna, what can we read of this? This is all a bit to be dotted. Anna. Pause on Komar again. Komar before that. Wow. There's some stuff before that. It looks like some magical letters. Blah blah blah. Okay, and then we have this line contains these sequences. 
Let's start with the ah, uh, so that's this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, oh. who? Five, how many can we see? One, two, three, four. Oh my god, five, six, seven. Santiol should be here. Yeah. There's much more going on here. Here we have the A's. There's much more going on here than just, okay, let's see what do we have on this line. Here suddenly we have the A's. Green, two, three, three, five, six. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. That must be a seventh. Oh yeah, and then we have this mug delta visible of a fine. Hi, Matthews. Hi, Matthews. see four U's. One, two, three, four. Is that line 35 weighed what? Is this line 35? That's one line above. What is it? 31, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh my god. Whatever. Ugh. Seven. 
So this next line should contain the O. But where that is. No, wait. Epsilon here. Okay, guys, I think um, I'm going to leave it at this for the moment. This this is just too, too exhausting. I mean, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Like, I would have to go through this letter by letter. This whole middle part. Letter by letter. So words, okay. So what? So what? So on. Okay, what on is it? I'm just looking at random things now. Because if this is sorting is uh, then that coincides with we're here. And there's a new before that. So there then should be an Omicron before that. Which means that there should be then the word na here. Then there should be the word tila on the previous line, line 27, at the end. Possibly. Yeah, actually, yes, on Tila. Here it is. I was reading it the wrong line. 27 is this. <sighs> on La is clearly visible. And this, this should be Tau Labda here. Tau dotted. Labda should be reconstructed as invisible. see there is this overlap of these texts I mean if we could find okay right we continue here there's six seven less miss but then there's Uwekoa Tilu and then Ngotkana Lowera if we could find that here is uh oh, this is so frustrating 
where to I just this is this is it this 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 is what it this is what I'm missing here or two where that's this this here I have what is here clearly at least or two or two where whack clear then there is not so clear not and here we have not kana it is the same text it is the same text not kana where is not kana here not kana law not kana law not Ka ne lo and then u uk uke u uera u e okay fine this this we have I mean, it would be amazing if this actually, con because like, what are we here? Line 20. It would be amazing if actually this whole continuati continuation is also just here. That would be extraordinary. Okay, let, let's see, because actually we have some quite some more here, so there we have some letters missing here. But let's oh wait. Oh my god, I constantly forget this thing is much longer. It's just oh so we are in line twenty-eight. Six, seven, eight. We were here. Where? So we have so hard to the outer console. Not very clear. I mean, this could be so hard too. That would fit actually. This would be R2. I'm just gonna put that. Which would mean that the sigma would be in here. I mean epsilon also, like all of these. This this should be just all dotted. But then two is okay. Dow well. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. That means that we have an outakuana so on the next line, which is line twenty nine. The big text, the big test. That should be here then. Is this Autakuana? Fuck, it is. It is Autakuana. So, here, so Sigma Omega. Ana Kappa Omicron Epsilon. Tau Alpha. Yeah. 
Okay, well then. So that's this piece. Not sure what comes before it. But this certainly is out. I mean, probably should <laughs> dot a few things here. U is fine. Tak. Uh, kappa on con epsilon. Oh, we can find epsilon fine. Sigma. Oh my god. Also good. What comes after Taquana? So kr, kir. No, no, this bucket. I maybe this is this de. Oh no. I mean, we should then, what we should do is to put the pictures next together and then see whether we can use letters from here and somehow match them up to cut, to cut out. Actually, that would be the best way to cut out the individual lines and put them side by side and then see if we can understand them together. Maybe I should do that just to cut out the individual lines and then make this kind of puzzle out of it. Because it looks to me as if this is really the same text. I mean, look, this is so beautiful. This works so beautifully. And this is relative, I mean, it's not readable, but like, I'll have to think about this. <sighs> I'll definitely have to give this a try. You would never think that this is doable, but look, like the end, there's some stuff on the end, some stuff in the middle. And some stuff in the beginning. And then knowing that this is the same text. These shrouds contain the same text. I mean, especially like this part is lost. I mean, this, this looks like so vague, but this here, this like between lines, let's say 20, 20 and 30, that should be doable. I'm gonna see if I can cut it out. All right, that will be for the next video, maybe. Like I have to prepare the cutouts and then see if that if that's actually a method that can work. I have no idea. I've never done that before. Because the lines are so long, it's really difficult to keep your concentration on where you are in the line. And then, especially if you have two, I mean, if you have two of these, I mean, this one and this one. It gets really, really tiring. So it's if you prepare it already and put them underneath each other as much as possible. Maybe they can help each other. All right, well, that's it for today. These are the two, um, the Shroud of Komar. We might actually get somewhere with this.
All right. I hope to see you next time. Um, hope this uh, shroud doesn't uh, again uh, put a curse on me. And um, yeah, we'll continue our work on this. Um, in any case, I, I talked with Adam Weitar and uh, we are planning to make an addition of all the shrouds. So like, including the one of Komar, all the three, shr sh all the three shrouds, plus the little fragments of shroud number four, which I don't think I've shown you yet, but I mean, they're like small little fragments. Maybe if we're lucky, we can at some point position them somewhere in this text. That would be really cool. Um, but in order to do that, we really need to read Gapoyapa and Komar together. So let's give that a try. All right. Cheerio.